My name is Lorraine Gupindi White. I grew up both at Jabiru and Gumblanya with my dad and my mum's side of the family. Uh, well, Jabiru is in the heart of Kakadu National Park and Gumblanya is a remote community on the edge of the floodplains. And then also growing up at my family's outstation up on the sandstone plateaus. Well, there's two different sorts of landscapes. There's the floodplains changing through the seasons, going from brown, hot, dry, dead grass and having big fires burning in the distance to wet season with thunderstorms rolling in and the escarpment all green. My work is all purely inspired by my grandfather who taught me. I sat alongside him and watched him paint for many years before I had the courage to follow him. <laughs> The medium of choice at this point in time is paper, but when I do get a chance to go back on country, I have family members that will help me harvest bark. <laughs> I enjoy painting on bark too. My work comes from the land that I live on and look after. Well, the artworks that we, me and my family, paint are things that we've seen, heard stories, subjects that we hear in, through songs and rock art paintings and stuff like that. Yes, I do see myself as someone that's going further with recording the old people's stories. I guess be more modern materials and also just slightly removing myself away from purely just being Lofty's granddaughter. Back in my grandfather's day, the subjects that they used to all paint was all purely by seeing things through their country, recording them or whether an event happened, they caught a big kangaroo and they wanted to put their story onto a rock shelter. So everyone would paint whatever they see or would get permission from people that are custodians of a subject. The subjects that I paint are all being handed down to me by my grandfather. They're all spirit beings or plants that are on my country, on my family's country. The message is more to, um, to try and capture my country and have people look at the images and try and imagine the importance of my country is to me and my family. If we don't look after it, the country won't look after us. We need to show that importance to the next generation. Old people have shown that to us and we need to pass that on. My work represents me and my people passing on the importance of taking care of country and the stories that have been passed on to us too.